Uh, and I worked in the church for a long time. I worked, I did, I worked with high school kids, which is like a giant mistake. And, uh, and um, so it's like, on, and I'm, I'm just opening up and being honest. Homosexuality, ugh, for a long time, ugh, not for me, right? It, I was judgy about it, very homophobic. Got to Chicago, met, met gays, and I was like, oh, you're just people. But just like, that are going to hell. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I mean, you are, but me too. So. Uh, uh, but I just felt very, and then, and then it's like God works in such mysterious ways, you know? I'm not, we're not going to church, but uh, we, uh, my wife and I bought a pug, and, she, and she's a lesbian. So uh, at first I was like, not under my roof. <laughs> But it's like, that's your, that's your pug and you have to love it, you know, you have to accept it for what it is, you know? And it truly, it is nature, dude, that's what I realized. Oh, this is nature, this is not nurture. I didn't raise no homosexual pug, you know? Even in my household, there could be an alternative lifestyle and it could thrive. And that really opened my eyes to, you know, human gays. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm cool with you guys, live your life, dude, whatever. And then plus the dick thing I talked about earlier. <laughs> I found out my pug was a gay, uh, a gay pug. Uh, because when I get home, and this is sharing, I, I hope you guys know that this is a sharing stand-up, I take all my clothes off. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately. Like as soon as the door latches or is close to latching, I'm ripping this shit off. Because my body loves to breathe. And uh, and I do, we live in a high rise, there's a high rise right across the street from us. And my my principle is you get fucking shades. I'm not getting blinds. I like the natural sunlight. If you don't want to see this, and it's a nightmare. <laughs> And you get yourself some curtains. I'm not fucking going to bed, bath, and beyond because you're uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm gonna explain that to the cops when somebody asks you. <laughs> no, 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 them, sir. Uh, my pug ate my belly button. Now that's that's what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, just settle into it for a moment. No foreplay. Okay. I had no idea it was coming. It was a rape. And that, you know, and now it's like, yeah, they did not funny. Because it was a fucking nightmare. You know? It was just like coming at me like an animal. She is an animal, but like an animal. And she's like, I mean, licking my hole, you know, like my belly button hole. And she's like clawing, I'm getting scratched. It's a, rape is a nightmare. It was a nightmare for me. That's the end of that.